My name is Bryant Dunn and uh, I'm a fly fishing guide for Silver Creek Outfitters and we're up here on the Salmon River, the Upper Salmon River and it's a great time to be fly fishing, great time to be throwing flies. The water has been receding, um, that snow that's melted and we've had the runoff coming down. Ooh, that was a mountain whitefish and that was a cutthroat, oh, ah! We're gonna do a little fishing today, have some fun, chase some cutthroats, rainbows, whitefish, squawfish, bull trout. Whatever will eat the fly, we're going after that. The river has really started to lower, and when it does that, in conjunction with warmer daytime temps and, and uh, a lot more insects, the fishing gets really, really good. So most of the time, this time of year, we'll either walk and wade or float down in a drift boat. Either way can work well. And in most cases, you're gonna get a lot of action, a lot of action, and primarily on big dry flies this time of year, which is about as good as it gets. There are a bunch of different stoneflies on the river right now. There's, you know, all the way from the salmon fly on down. It's spectacular to see how many kinds there actually are. Well, it's a big dry fly, and that's a beautiful thing. We'll see what the trout have to say about it. Oh man, you know we're equal opportunity anglers up here. I, Debbie and I will go out in, in a fall day, and we'll land, you know, 75 whitefish in a day on a five weight rod. Are you kidding me? In a three four hour session. What could possibly be wrong with that? Your rod's bent the entire time, and there are so many darn fish in this river. It's spectacular. Whitefish, rainbows, West Slope cutthroats, cut bow hybrids, bull trout, king salmon, steelhead, sockeye salmon, squawfish. Seriously? Oh, and don't forget, the regal sucker fish. <laughs> There's some 10 pounders in here. Great on a fly rod. Mm-hmm. Right through the bushes. Yeah. That was kind of fun. Unlike most of the fish in, the, in these western rivers, the mountain whitefish are indigenous. They actually are from here originally. So Looking down on whitefish never made any sense to me. At least it doesn't anymore. It sure is nice when you can pick them off the top with big dry flies. That's a nice fish, actually. Oh, bummer. Mm. That's a nice fish, too. Big cutthroat. Beautiful. Corner of the mouth. Love it. Nice male. Big dorsal. And gone. Let's see what's over here. This is sneaky over here. This is small, small water. It's fishy. Please, please eat that. I was not referring to the bush. Okay, we're gonna do it again. That left to right is coming through that little gap. That's a beautiful, beautiful cutthroat. Oh, you gotta go over that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Ooh, right to the main river. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Ooh, what a beautiful, beautiful cutthroat. Gosh, look at the colors on that thing. And he really wanted to eat that fly. That's a big dude. Looks pretty fishy. Oh, there's a fish. Eat it, eat it. Come back, come back. That fish popped at it, but didn't take it into its mouth. Oh, that's a nice fish. Really nice cutthroat. Oh, that's a good one. Amazing how big some of these are starting to get. Really spectacular specimens. So much color. I love these fish. Let's see if his big brother's swimming in here. 
I love fishing the Salmon River because there's an awful lot of fish in it and they're pretty likely to take your fly. But the Upper Salmon River is so full of history from the trapping and the mining days, which still very, are very much alive here in this part of the United States. And all of that activity goes on around this incredible river and this ecosystem, trout, steelhead, king salmon, deer, mule deer, elk, whitetails now, bighorn sheep, bears, lots of bears and cougars. And just such damn good country. If you like the outdoors, there's no limit. It's like Yellowstone Park with a steelhead run. You're always in some, you're in some variation of, some level of awe at all times. A-W-E. When you're up here, whether you're staring at a herd of elk over your steelhead rod or missing a beautiful cutthroat. Oh, I just missed a good one. Probably not gonna come back again, but it's not impossible, at least on this fly. Mm. Tricky. Eat it, eat it, please, I beg you. Oh yeah! What, yeah, that's... Oh yeah, baby, woo! It's nice to see cutthroats launch like that. Oh man alive. 